just wanted to talk about um, prosperity and not in the way that it's often understood. You know, um, a lot of people, including myself, um, used to think it only covers money or wealth of some kind, whether it's, you know, designer things or, um, I don't know, (laughs) Uh, gold, silver, diamonds, you know. but it, as I understood it, and I learned a lot from Louise Hay, um, as I always say, but it um, it covers um, a larger spectrum, if you like. Um, so, in the sense that you know things like um, the clothes you wear to your normal clothes um, it's an attitude from my understanding it's an attitude so it's about uh, yeah an attitude it, it, it's uh, an outlook on, on life and on certain things and uh, and if you know it's it's an enjoyment so um, Things like if you uh, enjoy your clothes or your food or your body, Um, (laughs) especially the body, (laughs) Um, because a lot of people will pay attention to, and and this includes me, will pay attention to um, the look of certain parts of our body that we don't like or um, the things that we want to change or we'll just pay attention to the the things we don't we don't want and uh, and uh, and I think it, it's um, healthy I find it really healthy to you know um, flip the script and and kind of pay attention to only the good, you know, like your favorite outfit, your favorite pajamas, your favorite meal. Um, and they don't have to be favorites, but if you make everything your favorite, so like I said, if you enjoy your clothes, you're very kind of experimental with your style or your hair colour or haircut or you know you're just expressive and you're always adapting, you're always changing, you're always evolving Um, and uh, then you would feel, then you, you look like a prosperous person (laughs) and uh, and if you include that with gratitude, then you've got a lot going for you. Um, so I think, and I'm also becoming a lot more mindful and <clears throat> implementing a lot more um, changes. They're slow, slow changes into my life. And um, this includes, and I've always been this way, um, I've always loved um, things I, you know, things like my clothes or my jewelry or my food or, you know, my home or I don't know, my body. There are um, issues that I would find that I need to work on. So, <laughs> you know, as someone who had three children, you know, um, <clears throat> is not bad but you know things like i might notice you know a a, uh, stretch mark or two you know i might notice um uneven skin tone or things like that and so while i work on that 
I try and pay attention to the other part that's doing all that is still um, looking good and I've always looked at things from my perspective I don't know if anyone else is like that but I always think if it's um, if it passes my test then the world will like it not that I really care about the world but you know what I mean like if I I always think if I it could be any item of clothing that I'm wearing if I happen to like the color or the certain um, style of it then it doesn't really matter what people say because it's already passed my my um, test <laughs> So, um, so just focus on things like that. Enjoy the things you you own, you have. Um, um, enjoy the things you're creating, and really feel at peace. And that's when things start happening, and <coughs> your goals start to materialize and. Um, you just find more joy and have this attitude of I'm okay I'm enjoying this moment not the past not the future just this moment and kind of um, so yeah so just be pros you know prosperous as they say on comfort um, a lot of people you see <clears throat> and you, you guys might not even know some people who cannot stay still they're never comfortable or they're um, they're always agitated irritated you know they're constantly moving around and so there's never this um, stillness I've ne I've never been that type of person. I've always been uh very <laughs> very calm person. Um and I, I get into my own world, you know. People think I I pay attention to the world, even when I'm outside or, you know, sitting in a coffee shop, I'm often in my own world. Um and so I would not, I would not notice a lot, you know. There are things I would notice, but it's 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 just it is. That's not where my interest is. I'm always thinking about certain ideas or certain um, things I want to do creatively. Or just the other day, I was um, doing some shopping and. And I had this thought that I should um, make um, corn, what was it, corn flour, a pancakes out of corn flour. And I thought to myself, wow, you know, um, so I'm still, you know what I mean, I, I experiment with my cooking, I test it first on myself and if that passes the test then it moves on to the kids and the family. Um, but I am usually my own guinea pig, so I test um, a lot whether it's, you know, herbs or spices or certain recipes or, you know, I usually test on myself. <laughs> and uh, so, um, so yeah, I, I, I was with a friend. <laughs> Um, one time, this is like goodness, a few months ago, and um, she's one of those people that are that are not looking within, <laughs> let's say, um, but that would notice other people's flaws or I don't know what other people are wearing, and I'm not like that at all, so. Um, she, you know, we, we were just, she was talking about this, um, f friend of ours that, you know, po you know, spoke to us for a bit and then, you know, went on 
their way and we were just chatting and and I was quite amazed how many sort of details she paid attention to that I had no idea when that friend was in front of me um, so things like I don't know the makeup she was wearing or the color of the socks or the you know just the scarf and I don't know just a lot that or what she said or you know I just I don't really pay attention to things like that at all um, well simply because it, it's it doesn't really take my interest <laughs> so I'm always I'm very very creative so I'm always um, working on some experiment or some <laughs> dish or you know some you know interest something that's interest to me maybe not to a lot of people but it is of interest to me and so I don't find it interested in um, paying attention to people especially when it comes to their flaws I've got ton tons of flaws myself so that's why I'm kind of um, cautious to point out anybody's flaws um, if even if they've mentioned it in my presence I really often just say well don't worry we all have them and you know kind of talk talk um, talk to the person that way so um, I, I mention all these things because I want you to to kind of focus on where your attention goes and let's go back to basics and you know if you're if you're not enjoying life now at this moment um, then you're denying your existence and uh, and uh, that's where the whole prosperity uh, being centered being grounded comes in um, so appreciate the, the beautiful soul that you are and um, feel uh, the, the peace the prosperity that you have even though your ego might tell you we don't have enough money till the end of the month or you know whatever you don't have money to pay this bill or you know and focus on what you do have and in time that will grow and uh, because that will expand the attitude that you have or you're trying to cultivate will grow and uh, you know and so and also it takes the attention away from things that you're working on things that haven't materialized yet and uh, um, so yeah just enjoy the things that you have whether it's your clothes your food your artistic abilities <laughs> I suppose even putting the makeup comes under there um, and uh, keep growing keep changing and also add self-love on there add gratitude on there change evolve try and evolve um, yourself and try and kind of um, reach heights that your former self wouldn't recognize now we'd often do that naturally um, well it depends on who you are but um, and if it also depends on um, whether you are awake spiritually or not um, <clears throat> but um, either way you there are things you can work on that will make your life like you're living in sort of a magical land and uh, so yeah and because you're giving out um, the energy of appreciation acceptance you know and uh, faith 
of course um, naturally all the things that you wanted um, will come maybe not all at once but it will come and that comes from um, the gratitude you display the um, I'm gonna enjoy my life now while those things materialize attitude and uh, keep growing and spend time with yourself I know it's a difficult uh, topic for some people I would forever I really I, I've, I really love my own company and so I don't have any need and I often find a lot of family members looking at me in a very strange way but I love my own company and I'm not I am never I don't think I've ever been lonely or I don't know what loneliness is because while I'm listening to the audio let's say on any given day when I'm on my own and maybe the kids have gone to bed or something like that even if they're awake I would often be cooking something or organizing a cupboard or you know um, going through um, shopping list or you know making hair oils or you know um, watching videos about my herbs I am a big I want to I'll literally be <coughs> the world's um, best and unique herbalist as I love 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 herbs and I get to find out so many different herbs and so many different um, <coughs> benefits and again I test it all on myself and of course in a stove more kind of small doses but um, especially um, <coughs> the the climate that we are on now it is crucial to to um, maybe take a look at your herbs and spices and and uh, you know see what you can add into your diet to keep yourself um, and your families healthy and uh, vibrant so you know so I'm often I'm either writing things down or um, doing my podcast or finding a, a nice topic to cover or you know f- you know just generally finding things out that I am interested in and uh, um, I've got many 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 interests if I have to list them I don't think I could um, we'll pay till tomorrow um, but that's you know that's um, something that's that I've always had the um, the curiosity and the sense of wonder um, that I have with the things that I kind of focus on or you know or <clears throat> or things like that so I've always been very 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 open minded even before my awakening my awakening <clears throat> I think I would do a separate audio um on my awakening <laughs> it wasn't pretty <laughs> um, I don't want to think that it was joyful or you know uh, that I was celebrating it happened in the middle of chaos you know of just you know having a baby and then going through a divorce and it wasn't pretty but I certainly appreciate it now <laughs> um, so it happened when I was 27 and uh, but slowly before that I think from the age of let's say um, 18 thereabouts <clears throat> I've always been a very open um, like an open-minded person so you could tell me things like oh you know 
I believe in aliens or something I don't myself but I <laughs> but I wouldn't um, I, I wouldn't like um, you know, I would kind of accept other people's um, because it's their truth I often don't deny them that so I would often just say at the end of it I don't really believe them myself but I I, you know, respect that you do. So at least have the, or you know, the courtesy to <clears throat> listen and actually see um, a different mindset than you, than you, than myself. And so I've always been very open-minded. People's um, not just beliefs, but people's perspectives and principles, and and uh, you know. <clears throat> Especially if someone told me they saw a ghost or, you know, I would be the, the strange friend who would say, well, did they say hello to you or what are they wearing? Rather than, <laughs> really, have you seen it? Where, where is, <laughs> I have a friend of mine that would just tell you, like, were you awake? Uh, were you, did you take anything or, <laughs> because she doesn't believe she doesn't believe it believe in them so so I've always been open-minded about everything Amy literally not everything but you know I obviously you know have um, my own uh, let's say religious background you know principles and ethics that we live by but um, within that what is it called? Um, within that um, perimeter, um, you know that you know I am very open, open-minded, and so I am. So yeah, I I do think it was kind of linked, the open-mindedness that I had, and when my awakening happened. Um, uh, because I think if it happened to someone who was close-minded, then they would take it as as if they were going crazy or, you know, like a mental illness type of thing. Um, but um, although I didn't really understand that it was an awakening while it was happening, um, I knew... Um, you know something was happening I just I just couldn't explain it so I just kind of threw myself into a project mode and at this time I was redecorating my old flat so it was to get the painters in buy stuff you know in the evening time try and um, go back to my study and you know the children I was all sort of made myself really really busy so I didn't initially had to focus on what was happening but something was happening I was aware of it I just didn't focus on it and I think for me that was kind of um it made the process a lot faster rather than me slowing down and thinking that I am going crazy or <laughs> round to the you know the antidepressant tablets or whatever um uh, you know, it, it was until maybe three years later that I that I understood it was an awakening, and uh, not a midlife crisis. Because <laughs> I thought it, maybe it's an emotional um, purge, or you know, like a release that I was going through. Because at the same time, I was dealing with a lot of hormonal. Um, issues I've just given birth and then at the same time it's I'm going through the divorce process I am decorating the, you know my old flat and all sorts of stuff was happening so um, I didn't focus too much you know to it but um, it certainly felt like a light was switched on that was not on before and then that was the end of my old life and slowly I started losing friends and 
you know, family members and I didn't quite lose them. But I think with the family members, I think I just stopped speaking to them because you just get tired of explaining. Not that I explained to them what was happening, but they thought something was happening. I just didn't explain to them. I don't really explain much to them anyway. Um, if I think if I think they don't understand, and it's only going to cause more confusion, I do not explain. But you know, tell them something that they can understand at their level. Um, <clears throat> and uh, anyway, we're moving away from the topic, but um, um, so yeah, just remember to be to feel prosperous in your own in in the now and also always have this and i think i've said it in a few episodes always have this attitude of you know uh, like you're looking after a very expensive god almighty expensive person you know like the king of i don't know <laughs> the king of some place <laughs> Or the queen or whatever you know like, like you're looking after this important person and the important person is you so um, tell yourself congratulation well done thank you very much no oh, we did it I love you I'm really proud of us and all that kind of stuff at least that's how <laughs> Louise Hay explained it but I think um, while I didn't do that initially um <clears throat> as i was growing up i have done one thing that i have you know i've always been proud of and that is never have i ever put myself down so i've never told myself i'm ugly because i'm not um <laughs> i've never um told myself i don't deserve this or I am not enough or you know things like that my family uh, my grandparents and my mother and they did their best that they could um, especially with their own limited understanding but um, at the same time nobody would put you down I have a you know very judgmental family member but um, it never got to me. It used to kind of piss me off at times, you know, especially if I was on a, on my period or things like that. It used to irritate me. But other times, because I was always this kind of go, 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 I used to work full time and, and you know, spend most of my time with my friends. And, and so I, I had the privilege of escaping that. So I didn't really have to hear it often. Um... So, even now, I'm very aware of if I see someone who's very critical of themselves, I start panicking myself. <laughs> so I don't like to have them around. Um, I like my friends or people that I associate with to reflect me. I know that's a bit strange, but I cho- I kind of choose them specifically. Um, so maybe they're kind or maybe they're confident of, you know, about themselves or they will always have something that I really like about them. Um, and of course no one is perfect, but I try and stay away from the critical people, very judgmental, very close minded, because that's not me. So I wouldn't have that per me and that person would not get along. Uh, And so I don't like to entertain it. I don't like to have it in my own atmosphere. In my own atmosphere. And... uh, um, So yeah. um, Just be... Make sure everything... Whether it's your home... your your own behavior or your uh let's say your thoughts or your friends and you know 
there's not much we can do with family but the out the other elements reflect you and they are you know a representation of you and uh yeah just that's that's where prosperity begins feel good about yourself and uh and uh you know and what you have in where you are in in the journey of in your journey what whatever that is um you know just enjoy the now enjoy the journey and also um have this kind of uh grateful humble you know um attitude about you say thank you please and all the good stuff um uh, and just make sure um you practice a lot of self love a lot of uh a lot of um acceptance a lot of forgiveness work through your own emotions and if you th- if you see that certain things are coming up at certain times of the month then um deal with it forgive people send love out to them um and uh just remember um you're competing with uh yourself you know yesterday your yourself you know from yesterday and nobody else so there's no need to have this kind of competition or keeping up with the jones or um you know keeping up with your friends or if something's going well for them that does not mean you need to be depressed about it congratulate them your journey is different from theirs and uh no one's going to take your share of anything because it's got your own name on it in the in the um the abundance that we that we get you know in our lifetime our share is always there for us so there is really no need for the competition um yeah so that's what i want to say but really um prosperity begins um with yourself if you love yourself if you appreciate the things you have and the home you live in or you know what you have and where you are in your journey now then whatever comes later on is a bonus and don't wait for people to say you look beautiful or you're looking different tell that to yourself there's no need for anybody else if you think of it if you think you're 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 beautiful then there's no need for anybody else to say it yes if they say it, it's a bonus but the way i see it um the only the only voice that i listen to and that really matters is me what i think of me and god shall i tell you what i think of me i i think i'm a divine uh human being <laughs> is glorious and beautiful and powerful and you know i i really feel the nobility of of the 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 soul that resides in me and so and in, in all of us so um treat yourself that way and and you know what because i think that i treat myself in that highly important person i often find people um reflect that so if i hold the door for them they'll say thank you very much if i make a post they will you know thank me in some way even if i haven't done anything uh there's a there's a there's an element of i put the expectation out and i get back more than i actually expected so um because i really value myself the 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 world values me um so but if you if you do the the reverse where you t- you know tell everybody do you think i um like um 
if you if you don't think you're powerful if you don't think you're good looking if you don't think you're capable of doing anything if you've got this kind of victim mindset then then the the world brings more of that to your attention and so it confirms it for you and uh, and that's everything is just a thought away change it and your life would be transformed i've like i've said i've never used to tell myself that i love myself and all of that but i've always felt a, a deep sense of love for myself in the way i did things i dress well i ate well you know i slept well i really when i do things i do it so beautifully even when i'm eating i'll tell anybody that i am with um let's not talk for the next 15 minutes or 20 minutes or however long we've got and we would sit there and just munch on our food (laughs) and then when we finish it's often very um it's often very quiet very because i respect the um my body and the processes it's going through uh, because it's a the, the the transformation or the transferring of energy uh, either one <laughs> and uh, and so that's why we need to be quiet and it also gives you a sense of reflection you pay attention to whatever it is you're eating maybe the, the meat will taste even better maybe you will be able to um, taste the spices or I don't know the garlic or the lemon or whatever it is you put in there so it, it, it brings a sense of presence and focus on that specific thing you're doing at the moment so it brings everything to this moment and uh, and I think it's the best way to eat and um, to to <coughs> practice mindfulness and be still you have no idea how many people run around all day i have plenty of friends and family who would be on their phone or would be you know um doing something coffee or going out they never sit in a chair or i don't know somewhere comfortable long enough to actually um more than a few minutes I I can't I can't be like that. I think I would be hospitalized if I had that kind of um craziness. I have to kind of slow down and process things and you know take things with my own kind of pace. So just be mindful. Observe yourself. Always grow and always get better and work on areas that you're not so good at with and uh, um, what else Um, self love um, forgive people forgive yourself you know forgive others um, uh, listen to people listen to yourself you'll be amazed how many people will tell you I'm not feeling well and when you ask them where is it that's actually hurting you they don't know can you imagine they don't know where it's hurting they will roughly go the stomach or the leg but where in the leg is it hurting you i don't know it's in my where in the stomach even the stomach has you know directions (laughs) is it the lower stomach the upper stomach where they don't know and so when you practice mindfulness, when you practice um, stillness, you start to observe yourself. And I've been doing this now for over five years. And I could tell you, if somewhere is hurting me, I know exactly what, where and why it's hurting me. And so I even recall you know, I'll still, you know, like search my mind, like, what did I just do a few minutes ago? Or what did I do an hour ago? 
that caused this and I would get to the the root of the problem and that comes with practice so keep practicing keep uh, refining yourself fine tuning to your emotions your physicality your anything you know your attitude your behavior your emo just f- refine everything be this beautiful pearl that even when you walk on the road you don't make sound you don't make any noise you know um and you go about your business in you know, a calm um you know assertive manner but not so aggressive uh the other day i saw one of my postmen um and he was so pissed off that the the glass door <laughs> where i live was flying um because he well it was it was um, swinging because he opened it and i could see so i didn't see nothing um so the next day when i felt like he, he looked a lot better <coughs> And that's when I said, good afternoon, and how's everything, is everything okay, the family, and he said, everything's fine. And so I went, you know, um, doing my thing. Uh, so just be mindful and uh, refine yourself. Uh, I don't like people that kind of have this, me- you know, victim mentality. Well, my parents were like this well the world treated me like this and yes that that's all true but um you're not that child anymore so change it you see what i mean you get up every day and you get the 24 hours that you had that you have so change it um and take control of your life if there is a diet you need to go through if there's fasting, if there's, I don't know, joining a gym, whatever it is you need to do, do it, be consistent, um, and uh, you will slowly change you, but also change your mindset, read books, there's so much free uh, knowledge out there nowadays with audio books, you don't even have to have a physical book. You can just clean your kitchen while listening to an audio book. Plenty of them talking about perspectives and mindsets. And the best of the best is, um, as always, um, what was it? There's so many of them, but <clears throat> Napoleon Hill's book, um, what was it called? Oh God, I forgot. Um, anyway, there's there's another one, the richest man in Babylon, and Napoleon Hill had one called. I don't know what it was called, rich, something. And it will come back to me. <laughs> but there's plenty for the for for businesses for changing your mindset. Nothing is done, you know, like the old sort of. Um, the old philosophers used to say Rome was not built in a day everything takes time and uh, while that time is whatever that thing you you kind of want the goal is working or kind of cooking in the oven of the universe then you can do other things while that is happening and uh um, just remember, prosperity begins with you first. If you complain and you um, don't appreciate what you have now, how is it that you're possibly going to get or going to appreciate anything you will have later on? What are they, What was it that they said? Something about whoever takes care of the pennies something I don't know there was a saying that there's something about whoever takes care of the pennies the pound takes care of themselves something like that (laughs) I probably butchered that pause you know that saying Um, I often can't remember a lot of things it's not that I 
can't remember. It's just some part of whatever it is I'm trying to quote will will escape me. Um, So anyway, just feel prosperous now. Live in the now. And uh, um, love yourself. And I will um, speak to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.